Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. And now we will make this effect. But first, I want to tell you about my own karaoke titles toolkit. If you want to support my channel to keep getting free tutorials like this, you can also check and purchase other templates, which I have in my portfolio. Even if you will just click around my templates, it could help as well. And if you'll decide to purchase any of my projects, it will definitely help me to keep making YouTube videos full time. I don't have merch to sell. So it's the only way to support my channel. It would be awesome if you'll check first links in description. Let's get started. I'm using Adobe After Effects CC 2015. This footage you can find in the description below. Let's drag and drop this background layer on this icon here to create new composition. Let's cut to this moment. So we would work only with this area. Then let's drop these two footages above. As you can see, we have a mat and also the person itself. Let's set to Luma mat and drag by this pick whip to this layer here. Then we can press S on keyboard to see our scale. And let's make it a bit smaller and drag it here. You can just record yourself in front of green screen or using different mat technique, which I've covered in a bunch of my previous tutorials. Now let's move these two layers here. Just select both of them by pressing shift on keyboard. And now as you can see, I have some garbage here. We can apply effect called Match Shocker. But before let's pre-compose it, go to Layer, Pre-compose. Let's call it Me and click OK. Let's apply Match Shocker here in Effects and Presets. Just drag and drop on our footage. Let's cut to this moment. And also let's apply effect called Echo. Drag and drop. And let's make a few changes here. First of all, Echo Operator set to Composite in front. And here in Echo Time in Seconds, let's set to minus 0.133. So now we have this cool motion, just let's increase numbers of echoes. I'll set mine to 15, so we would have a lot of hands. It looks nice, you just can play with these two values of numbers of echoes and echo time to get the look which you want. Now let's duplicate our background layer, just select it and go to Edit Duplicate. Then right mouse click on it and go to Time Freeze Frame. And let's make some built-in fractal effects. Just select this pen tool here and then roughly cut this top part of the window, just like this. So now we need to animate it. Just press P on keyboard to see our position. Click on this stopwatch to create new keyframe. And here at the beginning of the layer, let's move it down below like this. Then we need to create matte layer. Just go to layer, new, solid. Let's call it matte. And click OK. Let's shut off this layer by clicking on this eyeball here. And with the pen tool, let's roughly create this kind of mask to cover our window frame. Then we can press M on keyboard and set checkbox to invert it. And here let's set a feather to 15. And now we can go to this background layer and set it to alpha matte. So as you can see, it already works. Just let's go to graph editor and grab by this handle to create more smooth animation. And let's spread it apart. And now we can select these both layers. Hold shift on keyboard and select both of them and go to layer, pre-compose. Let's call it window and click OK. Let's cut to this moment and also apply echo effect. Let's make few adjustments here. Echo operator, let's set it to composite in front. Echo time, I'll set to minus 0.233. As you can see, it already works. And let's set number of echoes, just about 25. So we would see this effect longer. Let's preview this. As you can see, it already looks pretty cool. Same technique you can apply to any other part of the building. If you want to support my channel to keep getting free tutorials like this, you can purchase my VFX bundle, which has a bunch of cool effects from my tutorials and more. I don't have merch to sell, so it's the only way to support my channel. It would be awesome if you'll check first links in description and browse through my portfolio as well. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.